Okay, sorry everyone, there's going to be a part two to this video, unexpectedly, so let's continue on. The consequences of this, and um, so uh, to go back to the Hopi prophecy, they're talking about this time again when the one-hearted people will come back. And then, as so many people have heard, the, the, the Hopi say, we are the ones we have been waiting for. And the Inca talk about a time of meeting ourselves again, which dovetails with what he just said about the Hopi. In other words, there, there's really no one to wait for except for ourselves and uh, uh, our, our, our own uh, transformation and our, our, our own transition to becoming these uh, um, one-hearted people. And uh, we don't know uh, how... how exactly how to do this. Um, but I think there is one thing we know, and this is really that without a strong intention to have it brought about, it will not happen. It's, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, uh, with this so-called law of attraction, mm -hmm. that, you know, if you have, a, a, um, a, and a lot of the, the people listening are also familiar with this, if you, Okay, so he goes on and talks about the law of attraction, but if you're not aware of Carl Kalaman, you might want to look at some of his information that was recorded around 2010 and 2011, because he was talking about the coming shift in consciousness, and he was saying that it was going to be um, October, I forget the exact date, but October 2011. He didn't have that December 21st, 2012 date. But it doesn't matter. It's not what's happening is not a, a single date event. Okay, it's just a time period. And what he also talks about is how time is not existing, where time was going to end. That whole end of the world that that Hollywood and and the mainstream media were talking about coming with the Mayan calendar in 2012, the end of the world. No, it's it's not the end of it's the end of a world. And the linear time is going away. I think a lot. I mean, I can't believe this year it's just it's going to be over. It's just started. I mean, a year and four months since I started covering the Mandela effect. How could time just this linear time is? We're just going to be throwing it out the window because you know a lot of you know there is no time. There's no yesterday. There's no tomorrow. There's all there is right now. Right now, you listening to me, me recording this right now is all there is. And when you're listening to it, that's going to be all there is. All there is is now. We need to focus on now. Quit worrying about the past. Don't worry about the future. The future, if you put the intention towards the future, that's all you need. If you think, if you put negative attention towards the future, then you're going to bring negative future. You put a positive attention towards it, it'll work out fine, but you concentrate on now, live in the now, and you, I start realizing how incredible everything is. I mean, I spent most of my life, you know, thinking about the future and the past, and they don't exist. All their, everything exists now. It all exists. You just need to pick whatever frame you want and slide it in. And I mean, a lot of people they don't believe that, and I guess that it's not going to work for them. I mean, you need to look into things, though. A lot of people they're not they're so caught up in the matrix and they're caught up with the fear mongering. I've been listening to videos about people talking about fear. You just got to get rid of the fear. Forget, you know, just turn off the, the television and turn off the fear mongering and all the news. And that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, you know, the, the Democrats are doing things that you don't like and, and who cares? I mean, the Republicans, they put on half, just about half the $20 trillion were in debt. And, and Obama added another $9 trillion. He almost doubled it, so he was making up for the Democrats. Because I think between 1980 and the year 2008, a lot of it was under Republican presidents. And so then the uh, Democratic president put on another $9 trillion. I mean, both parties have destroyed the country. We don't need to keep looking at it, okay? It's, it's done. Let's just get away from that. I can't change what they're going to do, but I can change... How I feel by when I wake up every day and look at the magnificence around me and how I'm feeling more connected with everything and I've you know I'm making relationships with people and through them and the Mandela effect has been an incredible positive thing in my life I'm sorry if it if it freaks you out I mean, it freaked me out in the beginning but if it freaks you out I'm sorry about that um, 
I feel sorry for you if you think Satan's changing things around you. I think you really need to look into more things about what's happening. Look at a lot of modern physicists talk about the multiverse. I think that the the ship, the consciousness waves and stuff have been happening since the beginning of, of time. It's just now things are ramping up. They're speeding up. That's why it feels like you don't have any time now because there is no time. And, you know, we constructed a linear time and our perspective is changing. Our consciousness, our awareness is expanding in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, the awareness is expanding. And so the, we're taking in so much more in a shorter amount of time what we call time it just feels like everything's speeding up so i'm always reminded of terence mckenna's time wave zero where he says that it's going to get to like where it feels like no time and that's connected to this mandela everything is connected everything you can connect everything that's gone on and that's going on the bible is just as valid as the mayan calendar you know you get these people where they're like Oh, you think about the Mayan calendar. You're a new ager. Well, we're in we're entering a new age. Do we go through ages, 2160 year ages? And one's ending, and also not only that, but the 12 of them are ending. And so it's the end of a 26,000 year cycle. And that coincides with the Mayan calendar and every, it's so incredible what's happening. I I I just feel sorry for the people that are just stuck with their their Fox News and their job and their and their they're just stuck and in, in, in fear and like oh we're gonna get attacked by russia and and i don't know it's just so ridiculous you got to get out of all that stop looking through your fear filter there, there, there's nothing to be fearful of now I, I i gotta say if there were bombs being dropped in california yeah i'd probably get a little fearful but until that day there's no sense in even thinking about that i don't need to think about it so that's about it i just Got onto a little rant after initially just wanting to show you some information there in the part one, but uh, part two, I don't know. I need to do more videos on theories. Um, well, you know my theory. This is a consciousness shift. I don't think it's time travel. I don't know if time travel is going to move continents around. My consciousness is shifting, and I think it's going to continue to shift, and this is an incredible time. Stay positive, everybody. I'm happy to be sharing this time. And I'm happy to be able to communicate with so many people about this and not just be someone who notices things and talk to my family. And, you know, they're like, oh, you're, you know, you're just misremembering that. And you have no one to talk to. So I'm so happy we have this community here on YouTube. We can all discuss this. And um, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for all your comments. It's gotten me through this, especially last year. A lot of your comments helped me get through it. And I know that, you know, the information I put out helped a lot of people. So just really thankful that we've been here for each other during this whole process. So that's it. I'm going to go I'll talk to everyone soon. There'll be more information coming and more videos. Go create the reality that you want.